Hello friends. Uh, in this video, I have made an attempt to explain the concept of applicability of GST on corporate sponsorships. Uh, for that purpose, I have to refer to a particular notification. In a minute, I will be sharing my screen with you. When I say we will be discussing about uh, GST, applicability of the GST, what I exactly mean is that uh, we will be only talking about whether GST will be levied under RCM or FCM. RCM stands for reverse charge mechanism and FCM stands for forward charge mechanism. So our entire discussion will be on this, whether uh, GST has to be paid by under RCM. If it is RCM, that means the recipient of supply or the recipient of service has to pay GST. You can pay GST and take ITC also. If you are talking about FCM, this means what? The person who is providing the service, that means the supplier, has to pay GST. So this is the issue. Who is going to pay GST? Who is going to, uh, and how GST is to be paid under RCM or FCM? So friends, uh, please refer to this particular circular. You can download uh, this notification from the net also. I am talking about notification number 13 by 2017, which is issued on 28th June 2017. Fine, you can have a look at this notification and you can read this particular line. It says, on certain situation, GST shall be paid on reverse charge basis by the recipient of such services. That means a certain services or list of services are there, which is mentioned in this table. And with respect to these services, who will be paying GST? The recipient has to pay. How? By following reverse charge mechanism. If you look at the list, we will be referring to item number 4 only, which deals with the sponsorship services. You see, this is item number 4. Just have a look. It says, services provided by way of sponsorship to any body corporate or partnership. Body corporate or partnership farm. That means only these two types of recipients are covered here. Services provided to, that means... Who means these are the recipients. And who can be the supplier? Supplier can be any person. If see column number three says supplier of the service can be any person. But recipient has to be a body corporate or partnership firm. If you want that uh, GST has to be paid under RCM. Okay, so supplier of service is mentioned. And recipient of the service, you see it is again mentioned any body corporate or the partnership firm located in a taxable directory. And this is the provision, very simple provision. Let me try to explain you with the help of uh, this picture. Let us assume there is some conference or some kind of program is conducted. It may be conducted by any entity. It may be conducted by a company or by a trust or by an association or a society. It can be any other person. Fine. And uh, let us say in this, uh, in our example, it is conducted by trust. Trust is organizing a program or it's organizing a uh, seminar or conference. And uh, the trust is getting money or sponsorship uh, amount from any person. It can receive from another body corporate or from a partnership firm or for any other entity. Let us say one co particular company is paying money. Fine. So these are the people who pay money for this program. Not only money, it may pay consideration in any other form also. And in return, the trust is providing the sponsorship. Trust is providing the sponsorship service. That means the trust may allow allow them to put a banner, or maybe uh, receiving money and doing some. Trust might be providing some kind of favor to this body corporates, partnership, or other. That doesn't matter. Okay, that means some kind of supply or some kind of services is supplied by the trust or by any other person to these three kinds of people, body, corporate, partnership, or any other person. In this situation, if you analyze, the supplier is the trust. The recipient can be body, corporate, partnership, or any other entity. And what this particular notification says, if the recipient is body, corporate, or partnership, that means only I'm talking about these two category of persons. Then only, Service tax has to be paid under RCM. Okay. 
under our scene. That means reverse charge mechanism. That means it is the responsibility of this body corporate or the partnership firm to pay GST. Whose responsibility? Responsibility of the body corporate or the partnership. Trust may raise an invoice. Let us say trust is a registered person. Trust is registered with GST. Then trust can mention trust can raise an invoice, but he, there you have to mention that reverse charge mechanism is applicable. So that this body corporate partnership firm, who are in fact the recipients, they will be paying GST on that particular transaction. But the if the recipient is someone other than a body corporate or the partnership firm, in this case, forward charge mechanism is applicable. That means again, this trust has to pay GST. It's not possible to pay GST under RCA. Now, responsibility again comes to the trust. In this case, trust has to pay GST. This is the simple thing. So, it entirely depends upon who is the recipient. If the recipient is a body corporate or the partnership firm, then RCM is applicable. If the recipient is any other person, then FCM is applicable, meaning RCM is not. Now, one more thing, let me clarify. Who is a body corporate? That question might be there in your mind. You can refer to the GST uh, provisions. It talks about that body corporate means the same meaning which is assigned under Companies Act 2013. And uh, it says body corporate includes a company. Normally, you see companies are body corporate, including the company which is incorporated outside India. That is also a body corporate. But however, body corporate does not include cooperative society. It also doesn't include any other body corporate which central government by notification specify. So these two categories of uh, persons are excluded from body, co body corporate definition. One, cooperative society. Second is if some other body corporate which is notified, they are excluded. Otherwise, companies, including companies incorporated outside India, all are body corporates. Limited liability partnerships, they are a kind of partnership. And you have seen the notification covers both body corporate or partnership. Both are coming under RCM provision. If they are the recipient of service. Fine. I think concept is clear to you. Thank you very, very much.